Come on, why are you not showing this? There we go. Uh, on the cliffside edge of a lost village, something, something. Harboring the last survivors of the human race, those who chose exile over death. They train day and night, confined to their hideout, their legacy cursed, survival their sole purpose. The legend warns of the demon army, bound to strike again, eager to completely eradicate humans. Fortunately, legend also tells of a hero flying in from the Western Ocean to bring protection and knowledge. On a day that begins like so many others, a young ninja is about to be visited by the Western hero and sent on a perilous journey into this merciless world to carry a scroll paramount to the clan survival. Hold on a second, are you, are you seeing this? What's going on there? Why am I T-1000 suddenly? <laughs> More machine now than man. <laughs> Why is my skin chroma keying? My skin should not be green. What's going on there? <laughs> Must be a little seasick or something. All right. Let's uh, let's see what this is then. Options. Let's have a look. Music, sound effects, pixel perfect resolution. Don't know what most of these things mean. Nihongo. Pixie. Korean. French. Canadian. German. Spanish. Portuguese. China. Why, why am I going through these? I don't understand. Those are the last two. Simple. All right, fine. We'll f we'll finish it off. Simplified Chinese, traditional Chinese. Up, down, left, right. Fair, fair. Shuriken attack. Rope dart jump. Lightfoot tabby. Map. Inventory, pause. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Tabby are the, uh, the boots. It's like the split toes and the soft sole. I don't know if there's a, I don't know what the strict definition of it is, but they're, yeah, they're the ninja boots. Uh, new game? What is your name? Joe Musashi. Lumaru. Okay. Already sounding quite epic. How's the volume? Because this feels louder to me than my previous game did. Another day, another dollar. And still no sign of this so-called Western hero. Training used to be fun, but all we do now is memorize boring prophecies. Demon army this, and magic scroll that. Nothing's happened in centuries. So why are we still hiding? I wish I could just leave the place and go explore the world. It is just a touch quieter. Yeah, let's, let's try it there.
Gather round, everyone. History lesson is about to begin. Oh, great. Another lecture. I guess I should at least show up this time. Dance moves. Don't have any shuriken or rope darts, apparently. Just got the sword and the jump core. The only opponent that can withstand my attacks. Can't stop by at the teapot, apparently. Whoop. Looks like there's a queue. <laughs> right on time to try the new course. Show us your cloud step technique. Jump, hit, jump. Okay. Cloud stepping is easy once you've been trained. Jump, attack something, and jump again. You can remain airborne as long as you find things to attack. When do we get on the giant eagle? Good question. Must we dare the fiend's path? How else will we avoid Death Adder's forces? <laughs> well, look who decided to grace us with their presence. Silent judging. Have you done your reading? Silent judging. Ever the rebel. What's the point? All we do is rot in this hideout anyway. I see that the importance of our ancestors' wisdom is lost in you. But let me assure you that the threat of the demon army is very real. And should they... Huh? They have returned! This is all wrong. The Western hero was supposed to save us. Nani? Watch out! The floor is lava! Nandaska? Don't go. You. You are not ready. Okay. Not gonna lie, I suddenly don't feel ready. Burn it all! Bring the humans to their knees! Not so fast, big boy. Oh, and who might you be? Hm. Are you really all they've got? Hm. Pathetic. Prepare to die. That sound... Impossible. Seems luck is with you this day. Bama! The Zell! Yes, my king. Keep an eye on this worm. Certainly, my king. 
Count your blessings, ninja. My minions will make short work of you in the Autumn Hills. Are you? The Western Hero? Something like that. To be honest, I got here way too late. As you look like the most capable around here, I have a task of utmost importance for you. Take this scroll and carry it across the island. You need to reach Glacial Peak's summit, where three sages will be waiting for you. But who are you, and why is this scroll important? You'll find answers along the way. Head for the village gate now. The Shroud of Night will be your only protection to make it through the Autumn Hills. Godspeed, Messenger. You got the scroll! That's <laughs> only out of state on the Phoenix. Yeah, I'll, I'll, de I'll deliver this message for you. If you could just whistle up your Phoenix for me, I can probably be at the, uh, the other end of the island in like... 10 minutes. 10 minutes, Max. Why is my face green screening? It's not done it's not done this any other day. Is my face shiny? Is that it? How's that? Turned off the light in front of me, that seems to have helped. I guess my face is shiny today. Archery from a flying mount. He didn't even fire it from the flying mount. He jumped off of the flying mount and fired it whilst doing a, a flip. You have been chosen to be the messenger, tasked with carrying the scroll across your cursed world. Okay. We are the messenger now. Name drop! Oop, night has fallen. I should have gone back and talked to the Elder again. <laughs> Just to see if he had anything new to say. Alright, what have, what have we got here? Time lapse. I've now got a thing on the top right. But I don't dare press any buttons in case I waste something. Okay, my shoulder buttons don't seem to do anything. No, none of these buttons seem to be doing anything. Time lapse could be your superhero name? That'd be a good superhero name, I like that. Okay, so these are points? Coins? Somethings? Turtle Man. Isn't he from League? I think you may be right. It's the one who curls up and spins at people, right? Ooh, okay. Fire breathing turtle man. That's a new and original character. Oh, he... those aren't background people. Those are uh... those are real. Look the way he soaks up those hips. Interesting. Hmm. 
Oh, okay, so I guess I couldn't have made a quest there. I thought I was gonna like slide down this wall or something. Not even once? That is weird. I mean, to be fair, this is a ninja village. <laughs> but fair. Um. The dimensional vortex. Oh, a, a shopkeeper? Hello, shopkeeper. Ah, the messenger. I wasn't expecting you so soon. What is this place? This is... The shop! <laughs> Jawa. I don't think I can do a Jawa voice. It doesn't look like a shop. Do I look like a shopkeeper? You stood behind a counter, so a little. Anyways, so I'm this mystic character who will be mentoring and supporting you on your epic quest to save the world. All you need to do is take the scroll to the top of a faraway mountain, where three sages from my order will be waiting for you. Your order? Slow down, that was way too much text for one dialogue box. Also, we're doing this now, apparently. Look, just keep going eastwards and make sure you grab all these time shards you see lying around. I can use them to upgrade your artifacts and abilities. What's in that cage? Which cage? Oh, the, the one with the cover over it? I'm gonna say a squid, man. First one is on the house. Enjoy. Okay, so we've gone into a, this dark, shadowy shop where a hooded figure with glowing red eyes has told me that the first one's free. Keeps blinking? Yeah, those are its eyes. You got the climbing claws! Press against walls while airborne to stick to them. Need anything? What do you want to chat about? So, climbing claws? Oh yeah, you can press against walls to cling to them. And climb at your leisure. Makes sense. The way everything looks, it just feels like I should be able to do that. Yes, that's why John Guiden invented them decades ago. Who is John Guiden? Never mind. Just an acknowledgement I needed to get out of the way. I don't get it. Some will. What do you want to chat about? This is this suddenly got very, very self-aware, yes. Is it just this room? Is it that when we're in the shop, we're outside of canon? Seriously though, where are we? Curious, are we? In time you'll come to realize that the question is not where, but when. Hmm. <laughs> That's it? Listen, I know you're still new to this, but you have to be pretty naive to expect anything other than cryptic information so early in your adventure. And we're a traveler from canon. <laughs> hmm. Wouldn't you rather go back into the action anyway? Just buy a health upgrade or something, and be on your way. Kids these days. Do you have any stories to share? Of course, here's one for you. There once was a servant who didn't know how to read. The day came where his master asked him to read something for her, to which he replied, I'm sorry, my lady, I can't read. That reply immediately got him fired. Hmm. So he went out into the streets looking for a tea house to relax and accept the bad news. When he couldn't find any, he reckoned he probably wasn't the only one to wish there was a tea house in his small town. So he opened up his own. It really picked up, so he built many more and became rich in the process. One day his accountant asked him to review a piece of document, to which he replied he didn't know how to read. The accountant, who couldn't believe his ears, said, 
if you became a millionaire without even knowing how to read. Just imagine where you would be if you could read. Oh, I know exactly where I would be, the rich man replied. I would be a servant. The end. Hmm. What? I don't see how this applies to my adventure. It doesn't. You asked for a story. More like the long version of when life gives you lemons. Alright, since you don't appreciate, seem to appreciate me sharing some clever material for your next party, I suggest you move along. Well, we've made an enemy. What can we upgrade? Throw energy shurikens with Y? Sealed arm guards make you more resistant. Strike of the ninja. Ooh, destroy enemy projectiles and cloud step off them? Oh, okay, so we need to uh, gather key to throw these shurikens. Ooh, that thing that restores hit points also sounds really good. I guess I'll take the ranged attack. Just gives us more options. Need anything? Nothing now. Wardrobe? Please don't touch the cabinet. I already told you, the cabinet is off limits. Believe me, you're not ready for what's in there. You think you can just barge into my lab and go through my stuff like you own the place? There's no skeleton in there, I promise. Hey, don't touch. It's empty anyway. Don't make me lock it. Why don't you put that curiosity to good use in the outside world and maybe, I don't know, save humanity? If you touch that again, you'll have to sit through my boring story. I'm warning you, it's boring! <laughs> Do you want to sit through the boring story? Because I kind of want to sit through the boring story. I was hoping there'd be costume pieces, but a boring story is almost as good. It's philosophical. I'll even remove your ability to skip what I'm saying. I didn't know we had an ability to skip what he's saying. This is your last warning! Better make sure you have some time ahead of you if you're gonna touch that again. You asked for it. Don't say I didn't warn you. My only regret is that this guy is killing my voice. You know, it gets pretty lonely out here, so I have a lot of time to think. The one thing that keeps bugging me is this concept of happiness. Everyone seems to be looking for it. Some pretend to have it. But no one can really explain what it is. I think I finally cracked that code. You see, everyone has goals. So when you think, oh, I ha when I have this, I'll be happy. Or when I achieve that, I'll feel eternal bliss. Some people are looking for love or acceptance, while others simply hope Devolver will sign their kick-ass game. From my perspective, sitting here at the end of time, and being visited by countless travelers, I came to realize something very important. Goals don't make people happy. They defer happiness into the future, to when the goal will be achieved. This can only fail, because once you reach your goal, you're not the same person you were when you set out to achieve it. And what's more, your mindset is to chase something instead of enjoying what you have. So there you have it. Happiness is not a goal or a state, it's a system. You optimize your environment and cherry-pick the people around you. So that every day you're just stoked to live your own life, and you don't need to defer any joys, because you optimize the present moment. Now, I don't know whether that was cheesy or insightful or even just annoying, but I need to optimize my own life, and that implies you need to stop trying to open my cabinet, so I really hope I bored you to death. Let's see what I did to the last traveler who got nosy. I heard that. Okay, I think we're looping around now. 
important question is not where, but when. He just told us, yeah, we're, we're apparently at the end of time. Also, we uh, found out what they got. You were wondering what the guy inside the cage was? Now we know. Hey, Ashtak, how you doing? Yeah, I got myself a face cam. Felt like it was the way forward. I wonder if I can interact with more of this stuff later. How are you doing today? You having a good day? Oh, I should change the, the uh, game tag, shouldn't I? Hold on a second. I still get it set as retro. This is not a retro game. The Messenger. Also, blind playthrough? There we go. <laughs> Listen. This is my real hair, alright? Where did Streamlabs go? <laughs> Had a good day? Good, glad to hear it. So, now we can wall climb? Oh, you can just... Cool, I thought we were just gonna be able to bounce from, uh... Bounce from wall to wall, but apparently you can just, uh, straight up... Climb walls. Yeah, I've just changed it. Blurred. Are you just checking if it's possible to change the title? I don't know if my mods can do that or not. Oh, that's how you get up there. It's a thing I should probably set up if I, uh, if I can't, if they can. Is that, is that a secret? No, it's just a broken. Missions are set up correctly, okay. <laughs> can I attack these? I can, cool. I can use them to fly now. Oh, those things go through walls, apparently. Wait, what? 90 degrees away from my play street screen? Oh, you mean when I look at chat? Yeah, uh, chat's to my right. <laughs> I, d I don't know, they might be normal, uh... Norm Maybe they're just the normal fruit around here. Yeah, I've got two monitors next to each other, and the uh, chat's on my right-hand monitor. Taking more damage than I should be here. I think I tried striking the fireballs, didn't I? And I couldn't hit them. There's an upgrade in the shop that lets me strike the fireballs. Yeah, I, I can't strike the fireballs, but there was an upgrade in the shop that lets me do that. I could really do with some health. I don't know how I heal in this game. Wait, is that a health potion I see? It's green, the universal color for healing. There we go, nice. Do I know where that comes from? I mean, the red... the uh... Used to be the green cross to medicine. You know, nowadays the red cross has kind of supplanted it. But I don't know if there was somewhere older than that. And I also don't know why they picked that, if it wasn't something older. Whoop! Oh, it's Slimer! Hit 
History time. It's Novellon's favourite o'clock. That was, uh, less than ideal. I s Let me just die, please. Thank you. <laughs> so fireball was coming at me while I was at the thing, and I wasn't sure... Probably wasn't the best way to handle it. Oh, we've got a new enemy. Also very little health again. Uh, I've got a ranged attack now, right? There we go. Shuriken. Health, please. No. Oh, cool. We had a hit a checkpoint. I was hoping this would let me go to the shop because I've got more. Is it possible to go to the shop here? I've got one of the glowy tokens, but I guess not. I've got enough money for uh, buying stuff. Oh yeah, I, I remember some of this. The uh, the green cross was the originally the symbol for the Knights of Lazarus, wasn't it? Like, I think it's black cro cross, black cross for Templar, red cross for. Uh... What's the other one? The big knightly order. No, yeah, yeah. But... Yeah, the uh, the hospitalier. They're the ones. The hospitalier were red crosses, hence medicine. Green crosses for Lazarus. For again, medicine. And uh, you'd think this uh, water would ruin the scroll. And black cross for Templar, which doesn't really get used for anything. But yeah, it's a cool story. The Knights of St. Lazarus are cool people. Templars were red crosses, black crosses for Teutonic, white cross and black for Knights Hospitalier. Oh, okay. I thought the red cross was based on the Hospitalier. So, is there like oxygen limits? Or oh, I don't know. We'll figure this out. I can't fight underwater, apparently. I like how the uh, the music gets really muted under this water. It's all muted and distorted. Reloads. The Knights Hospital are properly called the Knights of the Hospital of St. John of Jerusalem. Ain't St. John Ambulance. Oh, okay. Yeah, the music actually sounds like you're underwater. That's really cool. I don't think I've seen a game do that before. Grenadier on a moving platform. I wonder if maybe I got more stuff if I killed enemies without touching the ground. Hmm, interesting. 
interesting. Doesn't seem to be anything in there. I'm gonna leave this health up alone because I don't currently need it. And I'm sure I will. Swiss flag reverse. Is that why the uh, Red Cross uses the Red Cross? It's kind of hard to hover near the top of the water without leaping out. Oop, another new enemy. It's founded by a Swiss fellow. Okay. Okay, so this one is a uh, is a shop. See if you've got anything new to say. Anything that I can interact with? No. Need anything? I think we need the one that destroys projectiles. Just too many projectiles. I need to parry them. And I think we'll get the health up because I'd like this one that gets us the occasional health up off of enemies. Also, this one that drops key charges. Ruta plates. Okay, I'm starting to see why Burzum really insisted on uh, me playing this game. So far, really good. The Knights Hospitaller still exists. Yeah, and they. I mean, you already mentioned St. John's Ambulance. Isn't isn't that, like, literally them? They just changed their name? Or are there still, like, formal knights doing it? Like, that, St. John's Ambulance is uh, owned by the Knights Hospitaller, right? Is it is something like that? They own it, but there are still formal knights. Okay. They have a seat at the UN. <laughs> I know the uh, the Templar were disbanded, right? But I d were any of the other knightly orders ever officially shut down? I would have thought they all probably still exist in some form or other. Okay. You can't attack those. Uh, I investigated it and found that out. under for ceremonial laws. I imagine they're pretty much all ceremonial now, but I thought they all suspected they all still existed. Apart from the Templar, who uh, got themselves in a lot of trouble. I think they got all, all their stuff got given to the Hospitaler, didn't they? Or was it the Teutons that got all the Templar stuff? I don't know. It was something like that.
Oh, right. So it's like just the monarchs that are members? Or they exist largely so that the monarch can be a member. That's the tell I got most of it, yeah. How do I... hmm, interesting. Ah, oh, there we go. So I guess these these ones here, these checkpoints, are broken shop portals. They look like one that's been smashed up, so they they still save, but you can't get to the shop from them. Turn around, dude. Go the other way. Just walk away. Okay. Ooh, I think we've got a choice of paths. Probably meant to go up there, so let's go down instead. what strange thing we've unlocked. Oh, we found a, uh, found a Ninja Turtle coin. Ah, uh, okay. So, it seems you'll want to wander off the beaten path. What was that big green object? Oh, you mean that thing you just smashed instead of collecting? Hmm? It's a power seal. There are many others like this one. But to be honest, I'm not really sure what they do. I can tell you that finding them all is optional. But if you're the kind of adventurer that likes to go for the extra challenge, you'll want to keep an eye out for hidden rooms. And who knows, it may or may not unlock an overpowered upgrade. Anyway, I'll be in my shop. Interesting. Hmm. The shopkeeper is pretty good, yeah. This ground looks really breakable, but I've not not got anything that can break it. I guess I need a down attack to do it with. I'll probably get that later and I'll have to come back here. With all this talk about time, I'm wondering if it's going to be the sort of thing where later on we can teleport from checkpoint to checkpoint, and it's going to be like, I don't know, this, this thing all happened before and it, and you failed, but now it's happening again, so you've got a second chance at succeeding with all the items you collected, or something weird like that. The goal is to make it so that the Western Hero arrives in time to save the village. 
Last time he was late, but this time we can send a warning back in time, so he's there earlier. That's that's probably what's going on here, right? I don't know. I'm wildly guessing. But that's that's my good instinct. Something like that is going to be going on. I can taste the time travel on the wind. Shop. Oh, something new to interact with. What's with the big mysterious chest? It appeared when you smashed your first power seal. You still need to smash 44 power seals to open that. Okay. I guess the power seals aren't doing anything immediately entertaining. Looks like you're almost at the end of this area. Did I forget to mention there was a giant leaf monster guarding the exit? Hm. You did. Haha, <laughs> that look on your face. Don't worry, my dear adventurer. Leaf monsters only come out during a full moon. Hm. Oh, is it a full moon right now? Yes. Oh, that's, uh... I didn't mean to, uh... Well, uh... Good luck. <laughs> okay. Oh, this stuff that makes them drop health items is really expensive. I can get the air recovery jump, but... I mean, maybe that'll help for the boss, so I should probably get it, I suppose. Alright, on we press. Oh, wow, it didn't take long to reach this giant leaf monster. I don't know what I was expecting, but that wasn't it. Oh, okay. I don't want to stand exactly there. Lesson learned. Oh, okay. That wasn't too bad. Didn't get a, a ton of uh, crystals for that mine. Would have been nice. Fall on temple. Oh, the sun's rising. We'll lose the advantage of stealth. Anything else going on in here? Anything new? I guess not. Sad one. How so? 
haven't paid much attention during history classes, have you? Hmm. Adventurer types really do, I get it. So the short of it is, that four-headed monster who would have killed you earlier if that cooler-than-you hero hadn't intervened? That's the Demon King. He brought his army to the human realm many centuries ago, and destroyed their stronghold, forcing them to retreat into hiding. He's been sitting on their throne ever since. I was thinking for it in brass too. You mean that this is all that is left of the human legacy? For what it's worth, I'm sorry. No way. I will go and take down that Demon King right now. You wouldn't be the first to try. Well, I can't just stand by while some evil monster gloats over my people's misery. You are still weak, too weak to consider taking on even his second in command. I'm going. I bet you can't even make it to the entrance without falling into the pit. Watch me. Oh, I will. Oh, we've got another story to share. Do you have any stories to share? Of course, here's one for you. There once was a princess looking for a suitable husband. She sent an invitation to all neighboring princes stating that the main trait she was looking for was sensitivity. Contenders came and went attempting to pass her test. You will be my guest tonight, the princess would explain. All I need you to do is sleep on that pile of mattresses. The next morning she would ask them how their night was. I had the best sleep of my life, each would reply, confident they had proved they didn't fear the dark, or that they could be easy guests. They were all promptly dismissed. One day, an especially sensitive prince reported he couldn't sleep at all. I don't know what was up with that pile of mattresses, he went on. It looked comfortable enough, but when I laid on it, it was like I had a fork stuck in my kidney. They got married the next day. Oh, everyone knows that story. There was a pea underneath the pile, so that someone who's extremely sensitive wouldn't be able to sleep. Yes, but have you ever heard of what happened after? Hmm? For the first few weeks, everything was amazing. The prince would always complain. Just the guy she asked for. When the soup wasn't too hot, it's the cutlery that was too cold. When the music wasn't too loud, the paintings were uninspired. And when the clothes weren't itchy, the poems were predictable. Till one day, just like that, it dawned on the princess that she was in a toxic relationship. Not only was her husband a drag, she had voluntarily picked him for exactly that reason. It dawned on her that just like that, how this whole love story was nothing more than two people whose dysfunctions match like puzzle pieces. Incredibly humble by legal by legal standards, she realized it was only the that she was the only constant in all her problems. Delved into personal growth, then got a divorce. She lived ever happily ever after. The end. What a nice story. Let's press on. So the shopkeeper's getting more dialogue than I expected him to. I might have given him an easier voice to, to use if I'd known. Aha! I thought there'd be something up here. Look at all this gold! Richard is beyond my imagination. I could afford the good upgrade if I, uh... I hadn't already bought the crappy one that I didn't even use, but I thought would be nice for the boss. Look at those clouds, what a nice day. Yeah, these uh, these definitely looked crumbly. Oh, okay. So when he said I couldn't make it across the pit without falling in, uh, he may have been right. Oh, hello there, you look friendly. Oh, you scared me! I thought you were an undead! What kind of creature are you? You've never seen a... Phobikin? Phobikin? We are a tribe of builders. Technically very hard working, but every one of us is cursed by a unique fear, which we are named after. What's your name? Necro.
Necro. So you fear the dead, somehow ended up in the catacombs? Ironic, isn't it? I fell in while trying to repair the temple ruins above, and was instantly paralyzed by all this morbidity. Anyway, thanks for snapping me out of it. I really should get back to work. Oh! Teleported, okay. I'm dead! We rescued a kindly Squirtle. Oh, there's a thing up there. Hold on. More souls. No power token, but we got some uh, got some money out of it. Wow, I don't like the look of that one bit. Okay. More souls, I guess. Uh... Oh. I think we've just encountered the Necromancer. really rumbled when I killed that last guy. Did something change? I'll do some quick investigation. Uh, it doesn't look like him. The Collector. Maybe so. That water does not look healthy. I think we need the item that makes enemies drop health occasionally. That's just going to be too useful. Hey, you made it to the catacombs. Okay, anything I should know? Not really, it's pretty standard stuff. Skeletons? And bats. Oh, evil wizards too? You bet. A necromancer even took over. Spooky. Clichéd. I suggest you get this area out of the way. There are more original ones lined up. Hey, how did that epic raid on the Demon King go? Hmm. Did you manage to save the world and restore your people's honor? not fair. The bridge was in shambles. 
Well, we wouldn't have much of an adventure if you faced off against the big villain right away now, would we? What do you do here? I study magic. Can you teach me? Not really. Why not? Because you're not ready. Ready for what? For magic! Come on, you're, you just asked. No, but I meant... Believe me, learning magic is a lot harder than following a conversation. <laughs> do you have any stories to share? Of course, here's one for you. There was once a poor old lady who had nothing in life, save for a small shack and a pear tree. Her name was Madame Misery. Her whole family ate misery, and sometimes there wasn't even enough misery to go around. One day she was visited by a starving beggar, who asked whether she had any food to spare. She didn't, but her heart was as big as her situation was unfortunate. So she served the beggar a few clumps out of the tasteless broth she had simmering, then invited him to help himself to a few pears. The beggar removed his cloak, revealing himself as a deity. He was disguised as a beggar to see whether there was any kindness left in the world. Touched by Madame Misery's generosity, he offered to grant her a wish. Let me guess, she didn't want anything and it's a moral about living frugally? No, no, this is good, let me continue. She mentioned a lot of people were stealing her fruit, which jeopardized her chance to eat every day. Her wish was simple, an enchantment on her pear tree so it would trap anyone who stole from it, until she decided to free them. The Divine Visitor granted her wish and took his leave. Time went by and she scolded many thieves, but soon realized that many of them were starving children. She decided to take it upon herself to feed and educate them, and soon became the pillar of a thriving new generation. Ever happy and generous, Madame Misery got so old that her face looked like an elephant's knee. And then one day death came for her. Death, following the protocol, inquired about her last request. I would like to eat one last pear from my tree, she said. Would you be kind enough to grab one for me? Death climbed into the tree to grab a pear, getting trapped in the process. The old lady decided to never let death out of the trap, and since then there has been misery in the world. The end. Hmm. Right? <laughs> What's the moral? Being selfless justifies being selfish later? Generosity begets misery? I don't know, it's a fairy tale for kids. I just thought the idea of death trapped in a pear tree was interesting. Fair, fair. Oh man, where are my costumes? This guy is melting my voice. Why do all the people we meet have such raspy voices? You, you guys tell me that. There we go, that should help. So now we've got a... Uh... Okay. Whoop. Hey, my first death. Oh, a new customer. Um, okay. Hmm? What happened? I almost died just there. Strictly speaking, you did. Hmm? But how? My name's... Quabble. Quabble. At your service. I'm the one you never would have met had you any skills. The gist of it is, I have a magic ring that allows me to control space and time. So whenever you're about to die, I will appear and stop everything and teleport you back to the latest checkpoint. Okay, what's the catch? Well, for one, you will still feel agonizing pain every single time. Also, I'm keeping track of your debt in my little notepad. So I'll stick around to steal your loot and until either we're even or I am bored. I mean, I can let you die if you prefer. It seems we have a deal! Glad we see eye to eye. Carry on, then.
Death has less consequences than I expected, it seems. Oh, come on. This bit's hard. I don't know what exactly am I supposed to be doing here. Have I just got to sprint through behind it, or what? Thought I was safe on that wall. This is going to cost me a lot of upgrades, isn't it? Okay, jumped a little too early there. Seven time shards. I've not left the first room since we met. Just grab onto the thing, come on. Wait, what? How do I get up there, then? Okay, like that. Technically, he's not stealing loot, he's, uh... ...receiving payment for his services. But, yeah. We got a, got a token. Well, and the uh, the gates open, so I guess I don't need to do it this way. Also, I think while Garble's gone. We can finally make some money again. I don't see any way I can get through there. But it looks like there's, there's probably a comeback later kind of thing. Quabble MVP. <laughs> it's not bad, I guess. Oh. Uh, why did I do that? I was expecting another fireball. And for some reason I thought it would be then instead of in five minutes when it was obviously going to be. Man, we got a really long way without dying, I feel. Remember those times? Those were good times. I can't figure out the timing on this puzzle. This one thing is just killing me over and over again. Has to be Quabble, death trapped in a pear tree. That does make sense, yeah.
There we go. Look, oh, Quabble's gone. Wow, okay. I don't like the looks of this one bit. Who was it who decided we should get the enemies occasionally drop health upgrade instead of the uh, swim faster through water upgrade? Here, we got some health out of that. Glad we got that enemy's drop health upgrade. Alright, uh, catch you in a bit, Nomellon. So I'll call up Mr. Skeletal's in this game. So it's such a proud and dignified career. Uh, which way are we meant to be going here then? Doesn't look like it's down there. It's cool that somebody as old as Mr. Skeletal is so in touch with new media. This one, but okay, I can't slide down there, which makes me think it's a death, but I thought it was worth checking though. Yeah, I bought the thing that would have let me survive that, but I forgot to use it. My bad. Can I...? Okay. So I can throw shurikens from the wall, but I can't break those walls over there with shuriken. So I don't know what their deal is, but uh, I guess we'll figure it out later.
interesting. Why did you respawn? I didn't even get that far away from you. Ooh, are those books? Are we moving into a library portion of this level? Oh, there's Jerk Wizards. Teleporting, firing scatter shots, all the hallmarks of great Jerk Wizards. gonna be Jerk Wizard Central, I can tell. Oh, what have we got here? We've got a Jerk Wizard who makes other Jerk Wizards. And now his attacking goes while we're doing platforming. Okay, it's pretty much as jerk wizard as he can get. I don't feel bad about throwing two shurikens at that guy. I feel a little bit bad about missing with a shuriken and killing that bat though. Interesting. So their projectiles destroy my shuriken? Oh, that was... I don't know why I thought I could make that. Yes, actually. Even with La Garble, I'm gonna be able to get another upgrade next time I'm at the shop, I think. I probably need the thing that makes powerful attacks do less damage. Because certain things are just destroying me, like, instantly. Patchu Ramnus. Oh, why did that guy die? Normally they die in one hit once they're on the ground. That was weird. Um, 
Oops. Hey, uh, you know what? Who needs this guy? Checkpoint. Uh. Oh, okay. Oh, they go through walls. It's a race segment. But it was going to be a trap segment, but it was a race segment. Now we know. I'm not going back down though. That thing is not worth my time. Oh, that's one of them down. Surprise! I oh, probably still like coming. Who am I kidding? Hey, uh, you want to drop a health up? Go ahead, drop a health up. No? Not, don't want to drop a health up? You sure? Nobody wants to drop a health up. At least I found some more sure I can. Ooh, the shop. Is that, is that new? Were, those, were there always candles floating next to this thing? Hmm, okay. That, oh, that's really expensive. Guess I won't be getting that anytime soon. Looks amazing, though. Enemies will occasionally drop a key charge. Now we can be more generous with our shuriken. I believe you have reached the necromancer's doorstep. Have you advice? Very little is known about this villain. Okay, so no advice? Dodging anything that looks like evil magic would be a good start. Wow, great help. Well, I also recommend looking at my inventory for any useful upgrades. I really appreciate all the support. Look, the Necromancer is a newcomer. All we know for now is he plans on taking over the world with his undead army. All we know? Sorry, I meant I... all I know. I'm totally on my own here. What do you want to chat about? Nothing right now? Forty-three more power seals, okay. Alright, guess we got ourselves a fight with the Necromancer. 
See, uh, let's see where this takes us. Mm. And with this army of undead, Everyone will soon fear the mighty Rockstin. <clears throat> what now? We have a visitor. I don't have time for visitors. Well, he seems to have time for you. Oh, great. Just when you think you get to play with your evil love. Do I have to remind you who's in charge here? Now say something threatening and try not to embarrass us like you did last time. Oh, I've been practicing. Watch this. <clears throat> Who dares enter my lair? Uh-oh. Is that the messenger? Looks like it. What do we do? Steal the scroll, of course. Good plan. And guard, face the mighty might of Ruxton the Great. Okay. It's gonna be like that, is wait, what? Oh, I've gotta attack through them. This is my skullmobile now. Oh, you're actually supposed to use that to shield yourself. Okay, I get it now. You can cut through it, but it's not, probably not recommended. Seems like if you get too close to him, then uh, the projectile doesn't have time to form for you to destroy it. That's the thing to watch out for. I yield. Wait, I don't. It's over. This evil thing is clearly not working out for us, no matter how many skulls we slap onto ourselves. Any suggestions, then? I'm listening. I don't know. Just something else. Like what? Introspection would be a good start. What has all this brought us, really? Ridiculous. I'm sticking to evil. Oh, yeah? And how are you going to accomplish anything if I'm not carrying you? Well, I could... that's... yeah, it's a good point, actually. It's settled, then. Carry on, messenger. We promise not to cause the world any harm. Hooray! We made a friend! He'll probably turn out to be useful later. Bamboo Creek. We're motoring through these levels. Probably almost at the end by now. Hey, Burzum, how are you doing? You having a good day? Wait, I already asked you that. You were here earlier. How How is the shops? Let me give you a more customized... A more customized uh, response. You managed to find everything you were, did you manage to find everything you are looking for today, sir? Oh. No, that's not quite that's not how you do that jump. Get a cream slice? Nice. Nice. What a short game, retro as hell. How short actually is it? Because 
Shopkeeper is dropping some cryptic hints at me. Nah, it's, it's pretty good. I had a couple of uh, platforming segments where I died a bunch of times, but most of the bosses have been easy. I'm enjoying it. It's actually really fun. Oh, okay. That's not how you do that one. I don't know why I wasted a shuriken on him. The, uh, yeah, like the change jumps. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, it's got a nice retro feel to it. I feel content playing this on our retro night. Sounds like maybe there's going to be more to it than it looks like because of lots of hints the shopkeeper's dropping. He's talked a lot about uh, time travel and I, I get the impression that it's going to become more open world with us teleporting back and forth or something. I mean, that's just speculation. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> the shopkeeper's a lot of fun. Okay, so those are on timers, duly noted. Uh, I can't afford anything new. Bamboo Creek! That must be a sight for sore eyes after your trek in the catacombs. Sure is. Do make the best of it. This place is as close to a day off as you'll get on this adventure. I'll try. I just didn't know something so cheerful existed. <laughs> I guess that says more about your mindset than the world. What are these crystals I'm collecting? So you're a touch the unidentified magic object first and ask questions later kind of guy. Hmm. They're time shards. I can use them to augment your abilities. How does it work? Exactly the way we've been doing it so far. You select what you want and then give me the required amount of shards so I can do my thing. I meant the spell itself. It's complicated. But I'm curious. And I'm busy. Do you have any stories to share? Of course I do, but now is not the time. Why not? You're in Bamboo Creek. This is as sunny as it gets in, here in this here cursed world. So? So I suggest you take the opportunity to play outside. Hm. Bye now. People always wanted me to play outside. I went outside once. It wasn't that great. music. Okay, so that was a death while I was sliding down. Uh, okay. Fine. Do it that way. I tried that on a pit earlier, and when I got to the bottom, it wouldn't let me slide down any further. So I, I thought if you were sliding, then you could, then it wouldn't let you go down a death pit, only if you fell down them. But, uh, lesson learned, I guess. You can 
you can die from touching a pit bottom, even if you're climbing. Like maybe there's something there. Maybe it's just there to be pretty. It succeeds. Pennsylvania called, they want that gimmick back, and they'd like a lot of other people to stop using it too. Oh boy. Come on, get up there. I don't know what useful thing it does if I get it up there. Nothing, apparently. That's probably the fact it's for this one where I actually need it. We found a friend. Whoa, okay. What the? Interesting. I don't think I managed to damage that guy. Not sure if I meant to. Oh, we've got a choice of paths. Let's try along here first. It looks more missable. Okay. You gotta hit the heart, I guess. Looks like we made the right call. Interesting. Leads back into the catacombs? This is a secret. I can't open it right now. new in the shop. Shopping away. Underwater dash? I mean, it's cheap. Nothing new. 
Uh, Freed properly and gross yourself. Cool, what are you watching? New Game of Thrones? Can I not... Hmm. Kinda looks like... Nope. But it kinda looked like you could get uh, over there, but you can't. I want to say I can't believe they made eight seasons of that crap, but then I remember that nothing happens in each episode. It's a billion and one plot threads that just crawl by. You doubt the first episode is great? What you got against the first episode in particular? So just you thinking it's just going to be a recap episode or something like that? Different colored platform. I see a lot of things that are obviously secrets, but I've got no way of activating them. So I think there's a pretty good chance I have to like run through the game twice or something. With once I've got all my upgrades and special abilities. That or I just get the ability to, well, I'm, I feel like I'm almost certain to get the ability to teleport back and forth in this game. I think it would be, this game would feel really weird if you don't get the ability to use the uh, the shops to teleport to other shop locations or something. But yeah, there's, there's clearly going to be some sort of time travel mechanic here. Gonna be a recap episode, do you think? Cool, so if I want to start watching it, I can just skip the rest of the seasons and watch this recap episode. It's a thing that you want to do when you uh, want to watch a show. Skip most of it. I hope that comes back down. <laughs> was a checkpoint. Looks different to the other ones. It's not got a broken door above it. I only watch shows where every episode is good. why I don't watch any TV, ever. Yeah, I always ask the shopkeeper about everything. But don't worry. Shopkeeper out everything, even if he's destroying my throat. Why does he have such a raspy voice? Was it really necessary to make me talk like that? Oh, okay. 
falling down. Yeah, I'm exactly like you on that one. Uh, this is another one of those things where there's clearly something, but I can't get to it. Oh, that's one of the power seals as well. I'll never be a Power Ranger Ninja Force like this. I can't just change his voice partway through the show. You think the fans aren't going to notice? most popular character, come on. It got real quiet out here. I don't think I can afford anything. Oh, I've un unlocked this now that I've died. That's probably worth saving up for as a priority. The sooner I get it, the uh, more money I'll save. I've been absolutely annoying with the wardrobe, yes. We've been through the whole thing, don't worry. So I guess the boss is up next? A boss in Bamboo Creek? That's a good one. Well, with the layout, you know. Perfectly centered gauge, symmetrical lanterns, no scrolling, I just thought... Look, you're perfectly free to hallucinate patterns and try to make sense of them. But I believe I told you this place was like your day off. So? Well, would you fight a boss on your day off? Hmm. Exactly. No boss here? I am suspicious. I'm not sure I believe him until I've been into the next room. Has gotten nicely quiet though. So, no idea how I get to that though. There's no way I can jump that, surely. No. Must be another thing I've not got the ability for. For yet. Back one screen first? Well, we need to go back, go talk to the shopkeeper again? What's up? Outside the shop, I missed a tiny secret. Okay. But I tried climbing down one before and it killed me, so I don't know. Am I supposed to know which which holes? Are these ladders that are sticking out? I thought they were just rocks. 
I didn't realize there was a pattern to those. So you can climb, you can safely climb down any that have got ladders. Okay, that's good to know. I'll watch out for that in future. So I keep go coming to pits and thinking, can I climb down that or will it kill me? It's nice to know that there's an actual rule there. Ladders make sense, I guess. Until now, I just thought they were rocks. Oh, my legs! Okay, they even went to the bother putting in an actual boss room where there's no boss. <laughs> That's pretty good. Ninja, don't take falling damage. You have to respect for the Japanese who don't take falling damage. Uh, fair, I guess. First I misread that as ninja don't take falling damage out of respect for falling damage. And I was like, that sounds really funny, but I don't understand the joke. Okay, so we've, uh, the Mystic Cave Zone. It's a classic. Do not appear to make that be able to make that jump. And there's no way back up there now. Hmm. Well, no doubt I can solve this problem myself. Without need for help. I think I've relied on the shopkeeper enough. Don't want to embarrass myself. Okay, fine. Anything new going on in here? No. I fell in a pit. That you did. That gap is way too wide. There's no way I can make the jump. This reminds me of a story. A long time ago, warriors of the Squirrel Clan invented a way to soar through the skies. Touching on a freedom humans could seldom dream of. Some would mistake them for gods. Incredible. Yeah, whatever. Here's a wingsuit. Need anything? <laughs> okay, now I can glide. Cool, cool. Press X while gliding with the wingsuit to attack downwards. That sounds pretty useful. Oh, but I was saving up for the, uh, the quabble one, wasn't I? Thanks for the wingsuit. You bet. Don't forget to try it out by pressing and holding A while airborne. Why was it free and not the other upgrades? Because it was mandatory to your progression. You can't save the world if you're stuck in a pit. Will there be more freebies in the future? There's only one way to find out now, isn't there? What do you mean? I mean you should carry on with your quest while letting your heart know for sure that this here cursed world and its inhabitants have a lot of surprises left in store for you. Welcome to the Howling Grotto, by the way. Do people live here? Some, quave, some cave dwelling creatures used to, a long time ago. That was really quiet compared to the uh, game sound. I don't know. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but I could not. I'm gonna have to crank up the volume on that one, aren't I? <laughs> also, hey, Norellan, thank you so much for the 50 bits. Really appreciate that. Maintaining that bit leader status, yeah. I don't know how long that lasts for. I'll hail the bit leader.
Yeah, failing at Norellon. That's a, has a ring to it. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll crank that volume up. Uh, can I do it now? Hold on a second. Shut up, everybody. How do I change the volume? Widgets? Alert box, cool. Uh, bits, 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 bits. I probably need to turn all of them up, I suppose. I don't know, because the other ones have never sounded all that quiet. Why did this one sound so quiet? Man, I would kill for a cream slice right now. Variations. Okay, well, I cranked the volume up to maximum. Hey, Noellen, do you want to donate some more bits so I can see if it works? <laughs> I think that's still kind of quiet. But I've turned the sound volume all the way up to 100%. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. Hmm. You can always hear the follow, but I don't think you can usually hear the bits. What volume is the... Uh, okay, so the... I think the follow is set to... The follow is only at half volume, that's weird. Yeah, I guess the sound file is a quiet one, but what about the, uh, the text-to-speech? Oh, hang on. I didn't click save settings, so there's a thing that I should probably have done. How do I turn up the volume on my uh, text-to-speech bot? Open text-to-speech, here we go. Let's crank that up to 100%. It's hard to tell when we're not use when we're not actually currently using the uh, the game audio. Hopefully that'll be better at least. You can't hear the alert either. There's a weird name for a cream cake, yeah. Yeah, I can see why they'd uh, rename those. Both alerts are considerably more quiet than they need to be. Okay, I can, well the subscription one I can easily turn up. That one always sounds quite loud to me. Welcome home, such as it is. This squalid hamlet, these corrupted lands, they are yours now, and you are bound to them. That's about right, okay. I might have to turn up the volume on that uh, sound file for the f bits then. That or just find a different one.
But yeah, I've turned up the uh, the text to speech part, but. It's, it's maximum doesn't seem to be all that high. I don't know. We'll leave it at that for now, then. Thank you, stranger, would be your choice. Resident Evil 4? Okay, I've, I've never played that. Thank you, stranger. Oh, is that that guy that used to quote all the time? Uh, stranger, stranger, that's quite a gun. <laughs> Sleepy time? Oh, wow, I didn't even notice what time it was. Time has flown by tonight. I'm really enjoying this game. Some cave dwelling creatures used to a long time ago. They built structures from the streams of emerald running through the rock and believed the wind was the breath of a god. Anything I should know? Not really, other than, it's school hiding time! Huh? Well, that wingsuit I gave you. Yeah? Sorry, I don't have enough contextual data. I meant to say something that would make sense regardless of whether you had already used the wingsuit to ride the wind tunnels. You're being awkward now. What's wrong with you? I gave you something that virtually lets you fly. You'd rather stay here and chat. Dang it. I liked that sound file, though. Maybe I can make it louder. Do you have any stories to share? Of course. Here's one for you. There once was a king who had a pretty rough time managing his emotions. Experiencing nothing but extremes, he would always feel either too excited or too depressed, which caused him to never get anything done. Just as he was about to lose all hope of getting his life together and be a viable ruler for his people, he was visited by a traveling relic hunter. To rid the king of his woes, the relic hunter gave him a magic ring, promising it would make him sad when he is happy and happy when he is sad. It worked like a literal charm, the kingdom became very prosperous as a result. When the king passed away, the castle's wizard promptly grabbed the ring to finally try and understand the source of its power. As it turned out, the ring wasn't magic at all. But how could a non-magic ring make you sad when you are happy and happy when you are sad? Hmm. Hmm? Hmm. Any guess? Not really. It had a small inscription that read, this too shall pass. Whoa. That's deep. It's more than deep. I just gave you the cure for anxiety through a fairy tale. Thanks, shopkeeper. Hey now, don't push it. <laughs> okay. Good to know. Cool, we can get to a whole bunch of new areas now. Excuse me, coming through. Oh, I can't go back into the uh, the previous area. Uh, but there was a thing right at the end that obviously needed the wingsuit to get at the treasure. It's best when it's something spectacular that's happened. We've invented the cure for cancer. This too shall pass. It's best not used casually. Oh. Oh, more skeletons.
I'm looking forward to watching Game of Thrones tomorrow. This too shall pass. So it's come to this is best added to casual things. So it's come to this too shall pass. I don't like this one bit. Buzzum. Flawless. Flawless. Just <laughs> get tough. Look, there wouldn't be HP upgrades in this game if you weren't going to need them, alright? I think I need the ability that lets me attack while gliding. Otherwise I'm missing out on cool stuff like this. Did anyone see if there was anything cool down the left hand side? We're going to go have a look. Nah, I'm not seeing anything. So many cool upgrades to buy. Have to get good. I mean, it's not impossible to do. I just need a bit more practice at it. Feeling pretty today? Might try the messenger? Wait, what? I thought, some, I thought somebody had trolled me by changing it. One of my mods. Yeah, I saw the ladder, don't worry. A very recent meme? Okay. Oh, is this like, feeling pretty today, might delete later? I think I've seen that going around. Like, people deleting photos of themselves? I don't really, I don't know. I, I've, no, I think I've followed. Pretty today might expand in Thanos later. <laughs> okay. Definitely seen a lot of memes about Ant Man being uh, tiny and hiding inside Thanos.
Yeah, I don't, I don't think Ant-Man could withstand that kind of power, but then again, I don't really know for sure. I never watched the Ant-Man movie. What the? No, stop it. Just do the attack, please. They made another one of those? How, how, it's a character who, uh, Iron Man, the most important character, doesn't even know who he is. And they made two movies about that guy? Hold on, there's no ladder here, so that means this is an instant death trap, right? Oh, more jerk wizards. So, no ladder on that one can't go down there. But sometimes you can go down ones that don't have ladders, but only if it's really obviously supposed to go down them. I know this is the guy that you keep almost banning. Is he posting all caps a lot? I try to gloss over everything that he, I try to ignore everything that he does if it's the same guy we're thinking of. You just realized that you're him. <laughs> Do I need to be in front or behind of this thing? How far does it go? So behind looks fine. Very dramatically close nonsense on the reg. Yeah, I think we're thinking of the same guy. The incredibly annoying guy who we'd all like to be rid of, but who we, you can't get rid of because you made a big deal about uh, this whole thing with him the first time you banned him, and now you can never go back. Made a Super Mario quiz and my school likes it? I don't think I've seen anybody. Maybe I've just been ignoring that guy. Are we thinking about two different people? You don't mean the guy that you banned once and then uh, had to unban because his GM asked you to? And you made a huge deal about it and now you feel that you can't ban him again? Okay, we are thinking about the same guy then, yeah. So I've, I've been thinking for a while, that guy would be so gone if you hadn't made that really unfortunate joke about banning him. Not a fan of that guy. He gave me a load of crap about streaming Pokemon games and then a week later posted a poll asking if he should stream Pokemon. And the Polix pretty much completely said, uh, nobody wants to watch you, dude. So, I mean, there was that at least. 17 or something? Mm. Bit young? I don't know. I've not had an actual conversation with him, but all of his stuff is written as though, uh, he's the most important person in the world. Has, and has no relevance to anything else that you're saying. Okay. 
We're doing this now. Okay. So you're doing it as a favor to the DM. I still be tempted to, to mute him in that in the uh, general chat stuff. I'll ask the GM to take a hand in the situation, but whatever. I don't have a problem with the DM. I'm just real salty about that guy being a jerk to me. And he's not helped his case by just being generally annoying after. Like, I could put up with one or the other. Oh, I think I'm out of water. Nobody tell hydration, but I'll get kicked off the stream. Been told and it's calmed down a lot. Okay. I've been a bit distracted lately. I don't know what's going on then anymore. Everything's been a mess for me for a while now. A hundred... Wait, what? Hundred times is equivalent to fifty minutes of exercise in a stationary bike. Okay, I miss. At first, I misread that as lapping a hundred times in fifteen minutes, and I was like, "Wait, what? Is that precisely fifteen chuckles, or, or what?" Yeah, and how heartily. Is that how- is that why Titus is the uh, star player of the Zanakin Daves? Ha 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 Okay, let's get the uh, the wingsuit attack. That sounds incredibly useful. Nothing new to chat about? I might have to go get myself an extra drink. My my throat is ooh. Yeah, Norella needs to quickly clarify that Vega is not the best character in League of Legends. Nobody thinks so. Buffy's pretty good, yeah. Whoop. Hold on. Uh, looks like there was more stuff up there. I'm gonna go back for it. Also gotta get through this jerk wizard. Have at you, sir. Had to watch lateness ensued, fair enough. I don't remember any of the songs. I remember it being a good episode, I don't remember any of the songs. used to play them a lot. <laughs> I can't recall hearing him play them. He used to play the same three Sonic songs over and over when I, when I was visiting. Maybe he customized his music to the person, have you considered that? Maybe he thought you liked those songs. Because I did kind of like the three Sonic songs that he played over and over, so you know. Told you you should like them. <laughs> well, he knows what he's talking about. If he tells you you should like something, you should like it. Don't sass Asmoth, he knows what he's doing.
Oh, you want to hang out with him so you can get your three special songs? <laughs> Kind of an intriguing idea, actually. What are your three mag- what is it? Each person should know what their three Magic Asthma songs are. Oh wow, look at this, look at this. I'm a helicopter! They make me feel good about myself, and I remind me of Sonic games I, I have enjoyed in the past. They make me a blue streak that speeds by Sonic the Hedgehog. Too fast for the naked eye, Sonic the Hedgehog. That wasn't actually one of the songs, by the way, it's just an example of related abilities. Okay, hold on. Yeah. Obviously you need a build-up to do this. Cool. I'm the helicopter! Ooh, how do I get- oh, okay. Incredibly easy to get in there, turns out. How does how does this work? Can you just stand in it? It's another crystal, it's a Tholian. Oh no, we're gonna get caught in its web. wall. Oh, inside there? Inside where the uh, treasure was. Oh yeah. I better break that just in case. There we go. We've opened up a shortcut in case we die and go back to the bonfire. Oh sure, just because they're all wizards, they must all be related. The only reason it would, we're pretty sure it's Africa, the only reason it would really change is if you're talking about different kinds of human. At least th that far. It depends at what point you start calling us us. No, I can't afford anything. Well, I hope you're up for a challenge. Why? Because something big is up next. What? Nani? Sagittarius, you think it might be Canada? That's, that's fair, that's fair. Sagittarians are often known for being wrong. Well, let's just say you're about to fight someone who understands that the best defense is a good defense. Who? I wish I could tell you. Hmm. Anyway, your three questions are up. Carry on. Since when is there a three questions rule? Hey, that's four now. I hope he doesn't charge us.
All right, let's see what this guy is about. Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, okay. Ah, right. So you uh, don't want to stand. You don't want to stand inside him, guys. That's dangerous. Oh, okay. Man, get his heart. Oh, come on, I was doing the spinning move. I should have destroyed that. Also, hey, Quabble, been a while. I've never actually seen Never Ending Story. Are oh, we gonna do this every time? Oh, okay. This is new. Yeah, this does seem like the boss you could try and haste your way through. He's so slow. Oh boy. Running as fast as I could there. That seemed unfair. Yeah, I was trying doing the jump and attack together, but that was mostly bouncing me into his attack. This way it seemed safer. Like when he fires the bolt down, if I'm bouncing on his attack spot, then I've got no defense against that. Okay, I think I've got the hang of this guy now, I say as I get hurt. Yeah, he doesn't want anything to do with this. Also, there's no reason for him to be here, you don't get anything for beating bosses. Being a jerk this time. Come oh, on, get on with it. Oh boy. There was a mistake and I made it.
I'm not too big to admit that it was a mistake and it was made, and it was by me. Oh, I got greedy there. Fast was this fight. What? Does he get faster as this fight goes on? Because I feel like at a certain point he's moving too fast for me to actually dodge his moves. Gonna be so mad. Am I missing a thing? Gonna be so mad when it turns out that uh, hitting a direction twice makes you run in that direction. Yeah, at this point it seems like I just can't dodge his attacks. He suddenly gets really fast. Okay. Maybe we got lucky here? Oh, really? Second stage? Is that is that that's what you're doing now? It just moves faster than I do. <sighs> okay, you can't get under that duly noted. I spent most of that fly phase trying to work out uh, what was going on. So the sparkles were to let me collect shurikens, which is how I'm supposed to fight him, I think. Annoying enough that I felt like I only beat the guy in the first place due to pure luck, because how do you dodge his attacks when he goes berserk? 
He moves his he attacks faster than I can dodge. I guess you have to predict where he's going to attack next. Feels kind of cheap, though. bedtime soon. And this guy is not as fun as the rest of the game so far. I'm a little disappointed with this. The rest of the game's been so good. I don't think there's been a bit that's annoyed me until now. Yeah, it just feels kind of cheap. Yeah, the green fireball things are definitely annoying. Could use the wingsuit attack if it wasn't for those, and that'd be cool to do. This whole rotation thing is just so slow. Doing well this time? I mean, it, until he starts going at super speed, he, he's not really a threat. If I'm gonna take damage, it's gonna be at the end. Second or third try. This is like my fourth, isn't it? Oh, come on! Well. Oh, for slowness, I guess. Yeah, see, there I could either take a hit from the orb or take a hit from the hands. But there was no way for me to avoid damage. Oh, okay. what this is like if you've not bothered to unlock the shuriken. Like, thanks for destroying my golem. Hmm. Well, you attacked first. What are you talking about? I have been digging through these caverns for centuries, and you just randomly engaged. No way. Way. No way. Hmm. You know what, fair enough. I see how you could have thought I was a threat. 
I guess my survival instincts kicked in a little too fast. I understand. It's all, it's all good. Look, I'm sorry I destroyed your golem, okay? Don't worry about it. I mean it. I'm sorry. It's all right. Honest mistake. So, how do I get out of here? Oh, I'll adjust the wind for you. Good luck on your quest. You can leave using the wind tunnel. Again, I don't mind our misunderstanding. I mean, I feel like he could have been more careful if he wasn't trying to crush me. Shroom Marsh. Alright, I'm probably gonna have to end it there. It's like 5 to 11. I don't have time to do another full level. Uh, do I need to find the shopkeeper? I need to find the shopkeeper to save, right? Waited till he left so he didn't see how sad he was. I was expecting him to be uh, mocking us for falling for his ruse or something. Uh oh. Poor little guy has lost his helmet. Yeah. When it panned back to him, I thought he was going to be like, Oh, thank goodness he fell through it. For a moment there, I thought he was going to finish me. But it turns out he actually was a nice guy. You know what, we're kind of in the middle of something now, but maybe later on, we can go back and replace his machine. I'm sure that's a thing we can do. Oh, okay. Throwing things through walls, why not? Oh, does this... Is this just a shortcut back, or...? That's, that's weird. I blew it! I blew it! I greeted pretty hard. Shopkeeper told us we were gonna fight the guy. But then again, the shopkeeper's out from outside of cannon, so he'd be telling us from that perspective from the perspective of uh, that he was a boss in the game rather than in real life, I guess. Yeah, if I don't waste it immediately, then I have still have the double jump, yeah. But when you're bouncing on a thing and you miss, it's quite easy to uh, waste your double jump. Oh wait, do you mean when you're, like, if I'm... Oh, okay. So I still have a double jump in that situation, even though I've bounced on this thing, I get to keep it. Didn't realize that part. Oh, 
we got. That's what I really like, but that's so expensive. I guess we get the, uh, the armor jacket. Oh, you'd save up for it? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna finish in a moment, Lady Meow, don't worry. Thanks for being here, it was good to hear from you. <laughs> Catch you next time. Alright, what have we got going on? Welcome to Quillshroom Marsh, said no one ever. Yeah, this place is eerie. Tell me about it. I once had to look through the mud for an artifact, gave up pretty quickly. What happened to this area? Legend says it used to be ruled by a monstrosity called the Primal Fear, until a brave monk defeated it. Do we survive the Elitist Four? We did survive the Elitist Four, yeah. And uh, bested the gym leader too. So far the run is still going disturbingly well. Both were very mighty indeed, but with his final breath, the Emerald Fear cursed the monk forever. Cursed? Legend also says the monk still roams the marsh to this day, turning any trespassers into fungi. Oh, great. Yeah, see you at Pokemon tomorrow, Lady Meow. Good night. <laughs> Catch you next time. No one knows whether any of that is true, but yeah, I'd pick up the pace if I were you. I still can't believe you defeated the Emerald Golem. Did you get a chance to understand its motive? That thing wasn't evil, it was just digging away. What? You mean all these messengers that were killed? All a misunderstanding. Wow. Wait, what do you mean all these messengers? Am I not the first messenger? Looks like Joe Masashi didn't catch on to it, though. So, uh... We'll have to wait until later to find out. <laughs> Do you have any stories to share? Of course. Here's one for you. There once was a messenger who kept asking for stories. Hmm. Even though he was supposed to move on with his very important quest, he just couldn't get enough. The shopkeeper, living in a void outside of time, was connected to all areas and so at first was happy to share the myths and legends encountered over decades of traveling. Alas, the messenger never seemed to appreciate the morals or takeaways, so the shopkeeper decided to be done with the stories thing. Hmm. The end. Hmm. No way. I liked your stories. Come on. Maybe later. We'll see. Ah, uh, dang it. There better, there better be more stories later. Okay, cool. So it saves when I leave, right? Saving, cool. So yeah, I'm gonna have to head off, guys. This game is, uh... Longer than advertised, Burzum told me I could do it in one session, back when I was doing three hour sessions instead of four hours. Complete lies, absolute lies, Burzum absolute liar, don't believe anything he says. But yeah, this game's really good, I'm, I'm enjoying it, I'll be playing it again. <laughs> so yeah, it's saved, so I assume I can just load up from this point. So I'll, I'll quit back to desktop and uh, we'll call it a night. But yeah, thanks for watching everybody. Really appreciate it. Hope you've had as much fun as I've had, because tonight was a good game. I enjoyed that. <laughs>
So yeah, thank you all for watching. Uh, tomorrow night will be the Pokemon type lock, as Lady Mayor has already hinted. In the afternoon, what day is it tomorrow? It's Wednesday. In the afternoon, I'll be playing Slay the Spire. And uh, next casual slash retro night is uh, next Tuesday evening. So I guess that's when I'll be doing the messenger again. But uh, oh, this weekend, this weekend is the celebration stream for was making affiliates. So that's uh, that's the twentieth and the twenty-first. I'll be doing two twelve-hour streams from eleven BST, which is GMT plus one, to eleven, so eleven AM to eleven PM in British Standard Time. That is definitely a thing I should set up, Noel, and definitely. Those are, those are all things I should have done. <laughs> But yeah, I think we're playing Yume Nikki this weekend, alongside other random games. Okay, stop drawing attention to how many things I've not done, guys. <laughs> so yeah, feel free to check us out for future streams, if any of those sound interesting to you. And uh, definitely come to the celebration this weekend, that should be good. So yeah, thanks again for watching, everybody. I hope to see you... Uh, Hope to see you all again. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Thanks for being here.